So dear students, in this video, we will discuss about property of pure substance, that is the steam. The property of pure substance, also called as one component system. The important characteristics of pure substance or one component system is that it has a homogeneous and invariable chem chemical composition. Irrespective of the phase or phases in which it exists. It means if there is a pure substance, then it is called a one component system as well as it has the two important characteristics in that. First is, it is homogeneous. It will be uniform throughout as well as having invariable chemical composition. It is having its invariable chemical composition means it will not change its chemical composition if it change its phase or phases or irrespective of the phases in which it exists but it will be homogeneous as well as invariable chemical composition. Now we can take some example of two substance. For example, there may be a mixture of ice, water and steam. So we are having a mixture of ice, then water and the steam. Because it is an example of a pure substance or one component system. Because in these three phases, ice is a solid phase, water is a liquid phase and steam is the gas phase. But in all these phases, we see the chemical composition is same. It is only as to either it is ice or it is water or it is steam. As well as ice, we are having a piece of ice, then definitely it is homogeneous or uniform throughout the structure. Similarly, if we are having a glass of water, then this glass of water is also uniform or homogeneous throughout, as well as a tank or a container having steam in it. And the steam is also uniform. So the mixture of ice, water, and steam is an example of pure substance. A system consists of O2 as vapor, as a liquid, or a combination of these is also a pure substance. Similarly, the system may be having oxygen, it may be as a vapor, means gaseous phase, it may be liquid, or it may be a combination of these two because it is also uniform as well as having the same chemical composition. So it is also a pure substance. A mixture of different gases may be treated as pure substance. A mixture of different gases, it may also be taken or considered as a pure substance, conditional, provided that it is having the same composition and it is uniform. If the, all the gases in the mixture are having the same chemical composition, it is not varying at all, as well as uh, it is uniform throughout, then it is called as the one component of the pure substance. Air is also a pure substance only as long as it is all gas or all liquid. So, because the air is a mixture of the nitrogen gas, oxygen gas, carbon dioxide, and other also gases there. But if it is a pure substance, we can say only as long as it is as all gas or it is all liquid. So either it is in the gaseous phase or it is in the liquid phase. Steam or water is regarded as the most significant and most important pure substance in engineering practice because it is used as a working fluid in steam engine and in steam turbine. So the steam or the water vapor is still used in the steam turbine, the thermal power plant. So the working substance they are used is as the steam of the water because the but the boiler produces the steam and that steam goes to the steam turbine. It runs the steam turbine. Then the after running the steam turbine, the water enters the condenser. So it condenses the steam into the water. So the phase change occur there. And again, with the help of the feed pump, this water is recirculated to the boiler. So the working substance in the power plant is the uh, water or the steam. So it is the most important substance. Now, what is the phase? 
ए प्योर सब्सटेंस में एग्जिस्ट इन डिफरेंट एक्सपेक्ट विच आर नोन एज दिजेज ए प्योर सब्सटेंस में एग्जिस्ट इन डिफरेंट एक्सपेक्ट विच आर नोन एज दिजेज The phase of the substance is the homogeneous chemical and in and physical state of aggregation of the molecule. It means the phase of the substance it is homogeneous. First point it is homogeneous. It is having the same chemical composition and physical state of aggregation of the molecule. It means how the molecules are connected or bonded together. So that is called as a phase. For example, ice is found in number of solid phases. Ice there are there exist in the three phases: ice one, ice two, and ice three. Even it is in a solid state, but it is having the three phases because of the different types of arrangement of the molecules in it. One of the such phases may be amorphous, and others may be different crystalline forms. So that is. The case in case of the glass, the amorphous glass as well as the crystalline forms of the glass, they are having the different arrangement of the molecules or the aggregation of the molecules because of the physical state of the aggregation of the molecules. If it is different, so why? Additionally, they are having the same chemical composition and homogeneous, but they are having the different state of the aggregation of the molecules. Then the phase will be different. So the Following three phases, we normally know it. No, these are the solid phase, and then the liquid phase, and the vapor or the gaseous phase. Now, water has three phases, namely ice, water, and steam. Under certain conditions, all three these phases may coexist, and the coexistence of these two phases is very common in engineering practice. So, when we know that, when ice melts. There is a transformation of the phase from solid to liquid, and it is called the melting or fusion of the ice. So as we know that if the pressure, if the one bar of the one or the atmospheric pressure, and uh, the temperature is zero degree centigrade, if the ice is heated or the heat is given to it, the ice will melt and it will be converted to the water. So. It is a transformation of the free phase from the ice, which is the solid phase, to the water, into the liquid phase. If the transformation of the phase takes place from the liquid to solid, which will be reverse. If we are taking the heat from the water at zero degree centigrade, then the water will be converted into the ice. So that is called the freezing or the solidification. So uh, we also take the water in some container or in some glasses, and then when we keep it in the refrigerator, after some time we see the ice is freezed. So it changes its phase from liquid to the solid phase. It is called the freezing or the solidification. If the transformation takes place from liquid phase to vapor phase, it is called as the vaporization. So as we all know that when the water is heated uh, in a container, definitely we give the sensor heat to it. So first, the water will take heat in the form of the sensor heat. Its temperature will increase up to the saturation temperature. If we are doing it in an open container, then definitely at the one atmospheric pressure, the water can be heated or will increase the temperature till the 100 degrees centigrade. Now it is the maximum temperature at the one atm pressure. The atmospheric pressure, when the temperature of the water will increase at 100 degree centigrade temperature, if we are giving further heat to the water, it will not change its temperature. Its temperature will not rise, and there will be the transformation of the phase. It will be uh, from the liquid phase to gaseous phase, and uh, in this phase change, it takes the Amount of heat, which is called as the latent heat. Similarly, if the vapor at the saturation temperature it is cooled or heat is extracted from the this vapor or the gas or the steam, then it will again change its phase from the gaseous phase to the liquid phase, and this process is called as the condensation. So here we could underst understood what is a pure substance and what are its Phases. Thank you.